Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm working in 30 Days of Creativity by Johanna Basford and I've got a very short amount of time to get this done so what better way to do this than doing a 30 minute challenge. So I'm going to be letting my camera roll for the full 30 minutes before it stops by itself and then when that camera stops I'm going to have to stop. So let's see if we can get this done. I'll be doing my abusing my polychromos pencils and I'm going to do this little ice cream there on the right hand side. So let's get started. So my plan is to have this as one of those sort of icy pole um, ice creams that's been dipped in chocolate. So I'm going to think that I want this top part here to look a little bit like white chocolate and then the next layer down is going to be regular sort of milk chocolate and then we'll do those bottom two layers in i think in some pink tones and maybe some sort of yellow orangey tones there and then i'll do some sprinkles on top as well so that is my plan so far so i'm just going in first now with my cream and then i'll just use maybe some yellow tones just around the edges. I'll just do the cream first and I'll, then I'll go ahead and just do the normal chocolate colors a bit further down and I'll see while well, I sort of have a think about what else I'm going to put here on the top. So for the milk chocolate layer I'm going to get started first with a layer of the nougat and then I'm thinking I might use the uh, burnt umber I think for the shading and I might have to go in with some blacks as well just to get sort of a little bit of dimension on this. So I'm not 100% sure what those little lines are right where I am at the moment, but I'm just gonna um, use them as like a little ripple um, of chocolate sort of thing, if that makes sense. Like it's gone into like little wavy patterns or something like that so I'm just going to treat it as a chocolate coat this, the same sort of chocolate coating so I'm just going to go in with a full layer of the nougat and then I'll go in afterwards and darken up the sides and underneath and things
So I'm just going to go in now with my black and just sort of darken up the areas that I want more shaded. And then I'll probably go in and blend that out. If you're enjoying this video, I'd love it if you consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. And if you click that notification bell, you can make sure that YouTube alerts you whenever I post new content. blend this out with another layer of the nougat and I'll probably bring that color in a little bit more towards the center and um, so that just the very center there is the highlight where it's just one layer of nougat rather than a few extra ones. So I've just decided to add a little bit of a light yellow around the edges of that top part and I might just use a light grey I think for the shadows. I'm not sure I might go in later if I have the time maybe with a lighter brown but I want to just do a light grey first which isn't too dark and then I'll also go in now and just do those sprinkles that are sitting on top. So I'll do those in this sort of dark pink tone and maybe like some orange an orange tone as well Time for the next layer so I'm going to go in with my rose carmine and my pink carmine and I'm thinking I might also add in the madder um, just for the really dark areas just where that 
drip, the chocolate drip effect is coming down. So I'm thinking that will be a little bit darker. So I'm going to go in dark under there to create a little bit of depth and um, dimension to our little ice cream. To hear your feedback so in the comments below let me know what sort of length of videos do you guys enjoy do you want me to do the normal sort of a roundabout between an hour and a half to two hour videos or would you like me to do shorter ones like this and do you prefer real time or sped up videos please let me know and that way i can create the content that you guys would like to watch Going in with my black again, I'm just going to create a little bit more shadows here just to make it look like that chocolate is standing out a little bit from the rest of the ice cream and that will give it a little bit more depth. So for this bottom layer here I'm going to go in with some yellow tones so I'm starting with my light chrome yellow and then I'm just going to work my way up to the two darker yellow tones I think it's the cadmium dark cadmium yellow and then the dark chrome yellow
for this yellow area because it's a little bit dark yellow I'll go in with my Van Dyck Brown for the shadows. I find brown works really well with the dark yellow tones to create a nice shadowy effect and it's not as harsh as black. I might go in with a little bit of black as well but start out with a brown tone and then don't go in too dark straight away. You can always add more to make it darker but once you've gone black you can't really lighten that up again afterwards so start out with a brown tone I've got just about five minutes to go so I am hurrying up I'm just gonna start this little the popsicle stick down the bottom here I want it not super dark so I'm just going in with the burnt ochre to start with and I'm just gonna darken it up just a little bit just underneath where the ice cream part is and maybe around the edges and do a few more layers of this and then we'll just do all the bits and pieces around and then try to create a bit of shadow where this ice cream is lying down. I've got about three minutes to go so I'm gonna go in with my warm grey three just adding a bit of this on the right hand side of everything and just sort of underneath the ice cream and then I'll probably go another shade or two darker with the um, with the greys and just go in just along the very edge to create a little bit more depth right on the in like where the ice cream is sort of touching the whatever it's lying on technical terms <laughs> Thank you. 
right, oh my gosh, I've got like one minute to go. So I'm gonna go in just one shade darker and I'm just gonna pull this right along the edges, not pulling it out too much. If I had a little bit more time, I probably would have blended it out a little bit more, but I'm just gonna go in absolutely where I need this slightly darker shade to be and I'm just working fairly fast here just making sure that I can get this down I don't have much time 30 seconds I reckon to go <laughs> and, then, and then this camera is gonna just stop filming so I'm just gonna see how much I can lay down ideally I would have gone in with maybe like a Posca or a Sakura jelly roll and added a little bit of white highlight on especially on the chocolate but I'm not going to get time to do that today, so I'm just working hard to just get this shadow down just to create a little bit of dimension. And I think I'm what, nearly, nearly, nearly done here. So just getting a little bit darker under here and we are done. There you go. There is my finished ice cream. That was my 30 minute challenge for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video from me today. I wish you all a colorful day and I will see you again next time.